you guys have been talking a lot about building consistency lately. Were you, do you feel like you were able to do that a little bit tonight? Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. I thought we were pretty solid. Even in the first half, we got up eight, made a couple of mistakes, but we fought back, got up seven, and then we made a couple of mistakes to end that quarter. But we came out in the third quarter. I thought we played solid. We just want to keep building. I mean, like I, I've been saying it, we needed games. We got them now. Now we have to manage, you know, all the games. And it's great having uh, Russell back to back. Obviously, it, he impacted the game with his uh, triple double. But Brad is Brad is like on a is so efficient. It makes it he makes it look very easy. And when you're when you're a special player, you know. You, you watch and the game looks very easy and you know the game is not very easy. It's a tough game. It's a very competitive game. And these are the world greatest athletes, but he's making it look pretty easy. Just being really patient, sharing the ball, uh, rebounding the ball, just playing solid two-way basketball. And so many of your guys have talked about just needing to see kind of the ball go through the hoop with such a strong offensive performance tonight. What was um, what was the mood like afterwards for you guys? It was good. You know, I thought it was good. It was a good win for us. You know, we've we're five and five in the last ten with what we've gone through. That's pretty. I think it's pretty solid. You know, we still got to build on on it. We can't rest. We can't, we can't relax. We got a lot of games coming up, and that's what we want. And we just got to keep chipping away, do our job every day. Don't get don't get down on the the rough moments. Don't get too high after a win. We won two in a row. Not no not a big deal. Hopefully we can continue to play well. And I thought defensively another good defensive performance. Take away the last X number of minutes of that fourth quarter. I thought we played pretty solid. They're 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 a hard team. They're a hard team to guard as you saw in that first half. They were playing really small and. They junk up the, the 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 game with a lot of their small, feisty attack players, and we have to match it up. It's a game of chess. Do we play big? But I, I like the fact that we competed on the defensive end and made it tough for them. Fred. Scott, Scott, why why has Mo been able to capitalize on this opportunity to start so immediately? You know why? Because he works. He didn't he didn't he didn't pout. When you don't get your way, you got two choices. And my high school coach, rest in peace, Coach Stricker, you got two choices. You could be better for it from it, or you could be bitter. And Mo handles it the right way. He didn't he didn't get the I don't know what to even call it the the offer or whatever. He didn't he didn't complain. He just kept coming to work with a great attitude. Positive mental attitude gets you a long ways. That's why, you know, that's why he's becoming like really a really a, a solid piece for us. I had a guy, Nick Collison, he's a lot like him, just makes winning plays and it's just good to be around. His teammates love him. He always wants to do right by his teammates. And he, trust me, he's goofy now. He's going to do some, some goofy things and it's going to try to pull my hair out at times. But I love him for that because it's always in the right most of the time, it's always in the right place. But he's a he's a great kid that works hard, and I'm I'm glad he played well the last couple of games. The other the other two bigs are just got to be ready, and they're all they're all going to be solid. It's, it's going to like I've said when Thomas Bryant, who was another guy that's loved, that when he went out, that we we're going to have to have three bigs by committee. And we picked up Alex. Matt. Scott, what can a night like this do for, for Tons just to finally see those shots go in? And there were some pretty difficult threes at that. Yeah, I mean, he made, you know, when finally turning the corner, when he made that tough uh, fade away on the left left wing, um, he, he needed it. We needed it. We need to make shots. Uh, we've been struggling for the last dozen or so games since we've had everybody back. Um, it's nice to go, you know, 40% from three as a team. I think that's what we can, we can be right around there. Uh, when he goes five for six, that's, that's big for us. I think hopefully this, uh, he strings on, he, he's, he's made some in the, in, in a half, but I thought tonight it was pretty, it was just solid. He played well last two games. He's played all, all around a pretty good basketball 
eight rebounds last game, four rebounds tonight, a couple of assists, a um, couple of steals, but he was active. It's just not, he's just not a shooter. I've said it many times last year. He's not a, just a shooter. We'd like him to make shots, but he can do other things to help us impact winning. Ben. Ben, you're mute. Yep. Thanks, Matt. I'll, I'll end up doing your what job. Did you, sorry, what did you see out of John Wall tonight and his ability to carry what looked like what was a very depleted team? No, he was, he was special. He's a, he a great game. You know, 29 points. Uh, played well. He's, he's an all-star player. Uh, I've saw it for, you know, like I said, many times he was, he was banged up and hurt. He still went out there and competed. And then, he, you know, he, the first year I was here, he played healthy all year, and we 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 played pretty well. But uh, the other times he was – the other three years he was hurt, and it allowed Brad to be a special player. And look what Brad's doing now. Um, but, yeah, he was – he was John's hard to guard. He's a – he's like I said, he's an all-star. I think a five-time all-star for a reason, and he's having a, a, just about an all-star year this year. Fred. Scott, you guys had a few possessions, especially in the first half, where you, you were, the offense was really good at making the extra pass to find somebody in the corner and get kind of a more open shot. How, how would you assess that you guys have been at that in general so far this season? I would say we're above, a little above average. Certain guys, without naming names, struggle with it because the feel for the game, they don't quite see it yet. And but they're they're not doing it because they're selfish. They just don't see the they don't see the flow of that play. But I think I I've seen a couple of times um, we've made that tonight, and we got to continue to work on that. Those are those are those good to great um, chemistry building passes, and when you do that, it comes around. You play better defense you get the next time you might get the next extra pass. It just, it builds a chemistry and it builds just a beautiful flow of the game that we are, our guys that, that need to work on that have improved, but it's still, they don't see it quick enough, but they're getting better. And I like that about it. You were hitting shots from, from all over tonight. Did you, did you feel any different from any other game? Did you feel like you were in a groove or are they just kind of starting to go in? Uh, I did. I did feel it before the game. Then, uh, you know, you know, anything can happen when the game starts. But before the game, I had the feel that uh, th this is it. Like this is one of the nights when I, when I'm starting. Scott Scott has said time and time again that like at some point the shots are going to even out. Your shots are are going to go in. You're a constantly confident guy. But how how have you? kind of responded to him saying that and how have you kind of responded to to the slump uh you know it's it's always great to have everybody coaches teammates trusting in me regardless if i'm making the shots or not but you know the way i responded i try to fight help the team any other way you know i, I get the looks i take them but make sure that if, if i don't make those threes i can uh, help the team any way i can on on both ends of the floor setting screens trying to box out rebound help whatever Neil. Alvis, can you elaborate a little bit on why you thought, you know, coming into this game, it was going to click for you that something in pregame because, or something like that? Uh, well, one of the yeah, pregame shooting was, uh, I just had the feeling, you know, when I was, it, it's been the last few, I would say a couple of weeks that the pregame shootings, the shots are falling, you know, once I go to the game and not so well anymore. But today the feeling was that, uh, this is it. It just, I don't know I, how, how I can explain that, but the shots were falling, but I had the feeling like, I know, I know when I let it go, the ball's going in. Hey, Brad, um, you've been talking a lot lately about consistency, obviously. Do you feel like you guys were able to build any good habits tonight? Uh, first, praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, I think we, we did a good job of defending. Um, I think early on, we kind of let John attack a lot. He got going early, um, but you know, for the most part, I think we did a good job of defending. We were crappy with rebounding, uh, so that has to be better. Uh, but I think just our intensity and focus was was consistent with last game. You know, our carryover was the same. We, you know, we 
we were executing offense, making shots, uh, moving the ball. Bodies weren't stagnant, so it was it was it was a consistent game for us. And all those good things on offense that you just mentioned, what do you attribute that to? Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's the vibes. You know, it's just just energy. You know, the energy we have. Uh, you know, once you you know you start playing well as a team, you see a few shots go in. You know, the, the rejuvenation is there. You know, so maybe that's what it is. I really don't know. So uh, it's just good to be able to see we're playing. You know, the right way. You know, and confidently. Fred. Hey, Brad. Um... You've answered so many questions about the emotional aspect of playing against John, but from a pure on-court perspective, you're like one of the very few people who actually got to see him play during his rehab process. How how does the way that he looks now on the that he looks now on the court compare to like what your expectations were for him when he was going through the rehab and all that? I mean, he might have exceeded them honestly, you know, because you never know with that type of injury. Everybody has their own opinion of it, you know, what type of player he'll be when he gets back. But only John knows that, you know, and he was adamant and telling us, you know, he's going to be back to himself. And it seems that way. He still has that quick burst of speed. You know, he's still athletic. He's still strong. Um, it's all there. He's putting it together, and I'm definitely happy for him. I couldn't be nothing but but happy for him, you know, especially after what he's been through the last two years. You know, you wish that on nobody. Uh, so to be able to see him come out on the other side of it with his head up and, you know, playing at his highest level as he can is great. You know, he's still a tough guard. He's still a tough guy to guard. Ben? Was it fun at all to go up against John with the two of you playing both at such a high level and seeing what each of you can do? Yeah, I mean, it's not our first time. I mean, granted, being on opposite team, opposite teams, yes. Uh, you know, we played earlier this year too. But uh, just our competitions and practice, you know, years past is, I mean, it's it's been the same as tonight. You know, we go at it, we compete, we guard each other, push each other, uh, and, and that's all we do. You know, even tonight we're pushing each other, telling each other to be better. You know, guard each other. And it's just it's just competitive. That's just who we are. That's our nature. You know, I think that's what kind of pushed us to be who we are, who we both are today, you know, and uh, it was a beautiful thing. So it's always, it's, I'm definitely looking forward to just competing with, competing against them for the rest of my career, as crazy as they may sound. Matt. Hey, Brad. Uh, Scott was saying that Mo has been really positive, just no matter if he's not playing or if he has, just how do you kind of see that manifest in the locker room? What is he like kind of on a day-to-day -day basis and how do you see that positivity? Mo brings energy. Mo brings, he's ready. He's locked in every single day, practice, games, no matter what, shoot around. He's locked into what's going on, and Coach is rewarding that, you know, and he works his tail off. I feel like, you know, he was working his tail off since camp, you know, and it was just all about him getting that opportunity. And, uh, you know, Coach granted it to him, and now he's starting for us, and he's been giving us nothing but life on both ends. So uh, we feed off of that. We need it. You know, Mo loves what he does. I always call him an irritant. Like he's out there to just be a pest to get up under your skin, talk his trash, all while playing at a high level. You know, so I, I love everything Mo brings and his spirit is what uplifts us. Hey, Mo, um, your guys' ball movement looked really good tonight, especially a couple of plays in the first half there. I'm wondering if you see any – like if there's any connection between that and what you were talking about yesterday with you guys just starting to trust each other a little bit more in those situations? Um, yeah, I mean, I was talking about defensive end yesterday, but it kind of feeds off of each other and kind of goes along with each other. That's, I mean, that's been the main problem that um, if nobody touches the ball, obviously naturally, even though it's not supposed to be like that, but it's just naturally happened that people aren't as locked in defensively. So um, I think, um, yeah, those two things go together. And um, Brad said the offense tonight was really clicking. Just it was nice to see kind of shots go in, and that kind of leads to all those good domino effect things. What did you attribute the strong offense to? Well, yeah, sure. I mean, in a game where the score matters, it's nice if the ball goes into the basket. So, um, and it's a lot more fun, obviously, for everybody involved, and people are willing or naturally just more locked in on the defensive end. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's not a secret that if you score, I don't know how many points we scored today, 130, something like that. It felt like 130. Um, it's a lot more fun to play.
Matt? Hey, Mo, Scott was saying that, you know, no matter your situation, he, he hasn't really ever seen you down, like, when your option was declined, that maybe that you were upset, but he couldn't tell. I guess, one, were you upset when that happened? And then, two, what, like, why are you kind of able to, to stay so positive and, and maybe not have them notice if you are in a, in a bad mood? <laughs> I mean, what do you think? Of course, I'm a, I'm a human being, but I'm not going to talk about that right now. I'm trying to get wins, so I don't, I, I got over it. Um, I know what I can do. Um, I figured out that in this league, you're not going to get any gifts. You got to work for everything and nothing ever ha has come easy to me in my life anyway. So um, my mindset is that I'll be here if you need me. And if not, I'll be the same guy every day. And that's going to continue to happen regardless of my situation. And then it seems like you kind of are proving, you know, you are getting rewarded with this extra playing time. Do just how do you approach that? And what have you made of kind of this expanded role? Well, like I said, like, I know what I can do. So that's how I prepare. So my preparation hasn't been different. Um, kind of expect that for myself every day to be the same, not to be as high and low as I used to be in the past. That's part of the growing process. So you can't, you can't be result oriented. You gotta be, gotta embrace the journey a little bit. Sounds corny and, um, but I mean, you, you become crazy if you just look at the results every night and then go to bed that way. You just got to embrace the process and um, have fun with it and be the same guy every day. Thank you. Fred? Mo, correct me if I'm wrong, but you seem to really enjoy like the, the dirty work, the gritty work. What, what do you enjoy about being that type of player? I mean... I appreciate it. I'll take that as a compliment. Um, but honestly, I'm just trying to play basketball. And uh, you, you got to figure out a way to, to be out there to play. So that's what I do. Um, scoring doesn't necessarily have to be my responsibility. I have two elite creators out there that you can trust in the scoring. They're going to get you open. They, you're just going to feed off of them anyway. So I'm just trying to play, man. I'm just trying to kind of establish myself in this league. So you figure out ways to, to, to do that. And um, if it's dirty work, it's dirty work. But um, it's all kind of part of the, the growing process. Hey, Russell. Uh, it's the first time all year that you guys have, uh, you know, you, you've actually played on the second half of a back-to-back. -back. I'm just wondering how you guys came about that decision and, and uh, you know, how you approached today. Um, you know, just – Listen to your body. It's the most important thing to do, especially at this age and this time of my career. Just listen to the body, figure out what's the best idea, look at the schedule. It's a lot of things. This month is pretty crazy for us, um, as in the amount of games and days. You know, when you really look at it, people don't truly understand how many days you have off the games. Um, so you got to make sure you take care of your health, which is the most important part. Um, so just trying to figure out where um, it best fit at the same time of catching rhythm. Um, with the team and trying to create some momentum as we, you know, we move in the right direction. I know, I know you said, you've said before that your mentality has changed since you were younger and sitting in those games and that kind of stuff. But is it, is it still hard for you to sit, sit out a game and watch from the sidelines? Uh, yeah. You know, I don't prefer it, but I also, when I'm watching, I'm learning. I might have an opportunity. I just, I just don't sit there for kicks and giggles. I'm able to see my teammates in a different light, see different things and I'm able to apply when I get back on the floor. Ava. Hey, Russ. Um, it was a strong offensive performance, kind of top to bottom for you guys. What do you attribute that to this game? Um, I thought we did a good job of defending. You know, we defended and rebounded the basketball, um, you know, defended the three-point line, did a good job of that, um, and executed offensively. So that's bad. I think we, everybody contributed uh, big time tonight, which is, which is huge. And it was your first, um, your guys' first back-to-back -back win since early January. Do you do you feel like the team is any closer to getting towards the consistency that you guys want? Uh, yeah, I think we're doing a good job. I think we're um, playing hard. We, you know, we're not putting ourselves in the hole and then have to work our way back. And with that, allows us to be able to play the game the right way. Uh, allows us to be able to uh, move the basketball, uh, create shots for um, everyone on the floor, and it allows us to play the way we want to.